The islands of Sanibel and Captiva are, well, we're islands. We're surrounded by water. So, you know, water's a very important, not just potable water, but the surrounding waters as well. That's, that's a part of our life. That's a part of our being. Having clean water available is something that we take for granted all the time. I think that having the idea of water scarcity is something that, that when you think about it, is incredibly scary. We need access to fresh water regularly so that we can provide top-notch patient care, not only to the saltwater patients, but also our freshwater ones as well. I think the municipal market across the globe is being squeezed by all angles, and the U.S. isn't an exception. On one hand, both temperatures and populations are increasing, uh, meaning that the fresh water is being under a lot of pressure. And on the other hand, you have a degradation of the feed water quality. And in coastal regions like the one we are at right now in Florida, you have the direct impact of seawater intrusion into freshwater aquifers. We are the only source of fresh water on the, on the island, so we have a huge impact. If we can't make water, there's potentially 15,000 people that can't have fresh water. And that's a huge issue to the general public. Our demand basically quadruples in the middle of the night for irrigation. So it puts a lot of strain on our equipment. It can be the standard demand during the day and into the early evening could be like 1,500 gallons a minute. But by 4 or 5 in the morning, it can be upwards of 10,000 a minute. For the last 30 years, we have kept the water rates below half of the average for the three counties, Charlotte, Collier, and Lee. The biggest problem that we face here is that we have no other water connections, so we have to make water every day. Island Water chose Film Tech originally primarily because of a partnership that developed. Uh, Film Tech was a newly developed company with some great technology. It was innovative technology that was redefining the membrane industry, and Island Water uh, at that time was looking to make improvements in the performance of their, their plant. The Film Tech membrane is a uh, semi permeable membrane which, uh, uh, in a water environment, separates uh, the salts from the aqueous solution. Water that passes through the membrane is generally the product, such as in potable water applications. It represents the best available technology for producing potable water. The operators, they face fast-changing environment. And whatever they do in the daily basis to overcome this challenge can be only their daily work. But it means bringing life quality for the community they service. Uh, as an operator, it's my job to ensure that the plant operates as efficiently as possible and make the cleanest possible water and with ample supply for the public. One of the biggest things we do other than protecting public health and making sure there's ample water supply both for consumption and, and fire protection, um, number one aspect of our job is to protect the membranes. Uh, the membranes are how we make water. Without the membranes, if we have a failure, we cannot provide water to the island. When the plant was originally built, the membranes were designed to go up to an operating pressure of a 500 psi. Now they're operating at a 150 to 200 psi, so it's almost half the pressure, a la half the energy, to produce uh, not only the amount of water, but even a better quality water than the original membranes. I would say that the water plant is like uh, a vital organ. We're talking about cooking, we're talking about agriculture, right? Many things that are so basic and I think in a daily basis, especially people that are not inside a water plant, they take water for granted. Just like we take our heart for granted or our lung for granted, but they are there working for us. The importance of a plant like this one that belongs to a very local and specific community in an island with touristic economy and seasonal it's key because they are what keeps this community alive. It's extremely important. We're a tourist-driven community and it greatly impacts our lives and our business. Without reliable water availability in our business, we very quickly stop producing and we're not able to take care of our customers. 
Water is not only important on an overall environmental level, but also on an economic level as well. Because many people come down here to Southwest Florida, not only to live, but also to vacation. And we rely on tourists coming down here, investing in our businesses, investing in our community, so that we can continue to be self-sufficient ourselves. And without water, clean, healthy, sustainable, fresh water, that won't be able to happen.